Hello everyone, welcome to Oda class. My name is Sushan Srivastava and today we're going to see the top most important question of surface area and volume. So this particular chapter is actually very important for 10th board CBSC exam. Every year you'll find at least four marker question, one four marker question from this segment. Sometimes they give six marker as well. And I've seen a lot of students struggling to solve those six marker questions. So today we're going to understand how to tackle four marker and six marker question of surface area and volume. So let's begin with the first question guys over here. So the first question that I've selected is related to cone. Even though we all know the volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h, but we always tend to make mistakes in these kind of problems. So let's understand this problem. This is a little bit twisted problem. And let's read the problem first. A right angle triangle whose sides are 21 centimeter and 28 centimeter, other than the hypotenuse, is made to revolve around the hypotenuse. Then we are supposed to find the volume of solid. Okay. So this particular problem is little bit twisted as I said earlier because you have the side around which the whole triangle is being revolved is this time hypotenuse. So usually when you talk about right circular cone, you get a triangle which is at right angle at a point and then you revolve this triangle along this one perpendicular side to get the cone, right? But here, this time we, we are revolving the whole thing with respect to this side. So this will not be the figure. Let's understand what will be the figure for this problem. So this time, we have the perpendicular sides over here as these two. This I can take as 28. This I can take as 21. And this is the hypotenuse, which is 35. Now guys, here, the whole triangle is being revolved around the hypotenuse. So you'll get two cones, one at the top, one at the bottom. And we are supposed to find the volume of the whole figure. So what I can do, I can name these points as A, B, C, and D. And then we have to target two heights. This I can call as H1 height, and this I can call it S2 height. Notice both the cone will have the same radius over here. So I can take this radius as R and I can write volume of both the cones. So total volume of the solid will be volume first plus volume of the second cone. Now the volume of the first cone I can write as 1 by 3 pi R square H1 plus 1 by 3 pi R square H2 which will be nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h1 plus h2. Now guys, you don't even have to find h1 and h2 because h1 plus h2 is nothing but 35 which I wrote in the beginning. Okay, so this will get you 35 directly. Now our task is to find r. Okay, so this is the radius. Somehow we have to find r. So notice guys that two triangles which are actually similar. This angle is 90 over here. Similarly, this angle is also 90 and this angle is common. So if I talk about the bigger triangle, which is triangle ABC and the smaller triangle, which is triangle ADB, they are similar because one angle is common and the other angle is 90 degree. So I can write triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. And since I'm looking for BD only, so I can write BC by DB will be equal to AC by AB. And from here, clearly I can write DB, which is nothing but R, which we are looking for actually, as AB into BC divided by AC. Now, what is AB value? AB value we all know is 28, AC is uh, 35 and BC is 21. So you get 28 into 21 divided by 35. Now we have the radius. We just have to plug in over there and you will have your answer. So let's see what is the answer guys. So you get one by three pi, which is 22 by seven into R square. So you get 28 square into 21 square divided by 35 square and H1 plus to S2, as I already told you, is nothing but 35 so you get 35 over here so if you simplify this thing you'll get 31064.5 
In fact, 31046.4. So this is how you solve the first problem, which is related to volume of a cone and which was little bit twisted because here we were revolving the whole triangle with respect to hypotenuse, not with respect to perpendicular side. Did you understand this problem? If you have any doubt, you can put your doubt in the comment box. Let's see what is the next problem. So the next problem is related to flow of water where one particular vessel is being filled with the help of pipe and there the rate of flow of water is already given. So a lot of people have actually messaged me that how to solve flow related problem, make a video for a flow related problem. So here we are today with respect to that problem. So let's read the problem itself. What is the water is flowing at a rate of five kilometer per hour through a pipe of diameter 28 centimeter into a cuboidal point, which is 60 meter long and 33 meter wide. In what time will the level of water is in the pond will rise by 21 centimeters. So this problem is tricky in two ways. One is the water is coming at a particular rate and the rate is not directly given in terms of volume. It is given in terms of meter or kilometer. And the second problem that you that the second trick which is involved is all these things are not represented in the same unit. Here, if you notice, this is in meter, this is in meter, but these two guys over here are in centimeter and here you have rate in terms of kilometer per hour. So you have to simplify and you have to work on these data in the same unit and then you should proceed the problem. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. So here the cuboid is there. And the height of the cuboid is already given as 21 centimeters. So I'm going to take it in terms of meter. So everything I'm going to convert in meter. So this will become 0.21 meter. Okay. The width of this cuboid is given as 33 meters. So this is actually 33 meter. And the length is given as 60 meter. So this whole thing is 60 meters. So what will be the volume of this cuboid? So you all know the volume of the cuboid is given by length into width into height. So volume of cuboid VC I'm writing will be nothing but 60 into 33 into 0.21, right? Now the question says that in what time, in how much time the whole cuboid will be filled. So for board related problem, always assume the time taken is T and then work on the volume which is produced by the pipe. So if I take the time as T, so volume through pipe, so that is volume of pipe will be the rate of the volume, which is given as five kilometer per hour. So I'm converting this also into meter. So you get 5,000 meter per hour and the cross sectional area you have to multiply over here, which is nothing but a cylindrical pipe. So cross sectional area will be pi, which is 22 by seven R square. So this is the diameter. So radius will be 14 square into H, which you have already multiplied into the time. So this much volume comes through the pipe in T time. Now both the volumes should be same because the whole volume is filling this cuboid. So you get VP is equal to VC. And from here we can work on time. So let's simplify this thing and let's see how the whole thing varies. So you get 5000 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 T is equal to and from here, the volume is 60 into 33 into 0.21. And from here, time will come out to be 81 by 60 R. Or you could write it as 81 minute. So did you guys understand these questions? If you have, you can like this video. For more such video, you can subscribe to Oda class. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.